Hey, what's going on internet? Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to properly color correct time lapses. So my method of recording time lapses is I have a Canon 60D and I use an intervalometer and I shoot all my footage in RAW. So that gives me the maximum capabilities to uh, color correct uh, my time lapses because RAW has more uh, dynamic range compared to a compressed JPEG file. So make sure you shoot your uh, time lapses in RAW and I'll show you how it gives you the maximum power to come away with some pretty cool images. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do in After Effects is double click in the project window and then we're gonna click the first file of your time lapse and make sure camera raw sequence is checked. Then click open. And just like Photoshop, camera raw opens. And what's cool about doing this in After Effects is that um, we only have to color correct one file and it'll color correct all the other files in the time lapse. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead, bring down the highlights, raise the shadows, probably lower the whites a little bit, increase the blacks a little bit, clarity, raise that up, vibrance, you know, saturation. And already we're getting, you know, a lot of range in our color correction. You know, I'm gonna click on detail, increase the sharpening a bit, you know, um, I'm gonna click on lens correction and I wanna remove the chromatic aberration, which is right here. We got green and red on this, uh, I guess light post here. I'm gonna click that and it'll pretty much remove it. I'm probably gonna increase the purple amount just a touch. That looks pretty good. I can go over to HSL and, you know, under saturation, you know, increase the greens, you know, maybe the blues a bit, pretty much everything. You know, I like clicking these settings. It really gives us a cool looking image since we're working with uh, raw footage. Uh, you know, I like maybe go over to the um, tone curve, click on red, kind of create some color, create S curves for each three channels and kind of gives us, you know, a different look. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And since we're doing this in RAW, you know, one thing I like to do is, you know, click the brush tool um, and, you know, Maybe what we'll do is we'll set the highlights down to negative 100 uh, and maybe lower the exposure a bit. You know, make the brush a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's so big. You know, and we'll just go ahead and paint over the sky here. You know, maybe we'll go back to our exposure and raise the highlights up a bit so we get that information back into the uh, foreground. Maybe I'll crease the shadows a little bit. All right, and then we'll go back over to the brush. Click on the point, maybe I'll lower the exposure just a little bit more. You know, we've got, maybe raise the clarity. So really we're able to color correct the sky individually, which you really can't do with a uh, raw video unless you create masks, but this is a great way to do it with the brush. Since I painted over the uh, lamp post here, I'll just hold down option and just kind of erase it. This is looking pretty good. And you know, once you got a cool looking image, you can go ahead and click um, OK. And that will bring us right back into After Effects. So here's our file right here. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna right click it and go to interpret footage and click main. And here is where you need to set your frame rate. I want to set it to 24 and then click OK. Then I'm going to create a new composition. Uh, make sure you know, I'm going to do 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames per second. Click OK. I'm going to drag our time lapse in. And this is what's cool about shooting in RAW also for our time lapse is that the file is going to be bigger than what it's supposed to be. So we can, you know, make files smaller. So we can scale down the footage um, and, you know, have more detail or, you know, have more flexibility what we want to do. You know, we'll hold down position, maybe drag it down a little bit. You know, maybe click keyframe for position and then go to the end here. And like I said, this is really cool looking sky, but I'm going to drag up on the position keyframe. What's cool about color correcting your time lapses in RAW is that it gives you the ability to create some really interesting images. 
So, I mean, once you're done here in After Effects, um, you know, you're pretty much done. You can go ahead, you know, add render queue, you know, export. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Please feel free to follow me on Instagram at Sunduck Film. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you guys later.